In this tutorial we're going to have a look at how to rotate a set of coordinates using a matrix. Now the matrix that gives an anti-clockwise rotation through any angle about the origin is given by that there, cos theta sine theta minus sine theta cos theta, I'm reading that in columns. So in order to get a particular angle of rotation we just simply sub in the angle we want. So say we wanted a 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation so 90 degrees anti-clockwise just plug in 90 into that formula so 90 degrees anti-clockwise is cos 90 sine 90 minus sine 90 cos 90 which is equal to 0 1 minus 1 0 Say I wanted instead 90 degrees clockwise. Well, what I'd do, I'd simply put a negative angle in there. Positive angles are anti-clockwise, so negative angles are clockwise. So cos of minus 90, sine of minus 90, minus sine of minus 90, and cos of minus 90 equals 0 then we've got minus 1 1 and 0 so that matrix there when applied to a set of coordinates will rotate 90 degrees clockwise so let's see this in action so rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise we're going to apply that rotation to this unit square so the matrix we need to use is 0, 1, minus 1, 0. So 0, 1, minus 1, 0. And I'm going to make an anti-clockwise 90 degree rotation using this matrix. So I'm going to apply it to all four vertices of this unit square. I'm going to apply it to vertex O, which is the origin, 0, 0. I'm going to apply it to A, which is 1, 0. I'm going to apply it to B, which is 1, 1. I'm going to apply it to C, which is 0, 1. And doing simple matrix multiplication, 0 times 0, 0 times 0 plus 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 plus 0 times 0 is 0. And there we have the image, O dash of O. So the origin, 0, 0, goes to 0, 0. Now let's have a look at the image of A, and that's what the dash means, the image of A. So, 0 times 1 plus minus 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 plus 0 times 0 is 1. So the image of A is 0, 1. B dash, let's have a look what the effect that this has on B now. 0 times 1 plus minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. 1 times 1 plus 0 times 1 is 1. And then 0 times 0 plus minus 1 times 1. Minus 1. And then 1 times 0 plus 0 times 1 is 0. And that's where C ends up. Okay, so 0, 0 goes to 0, 0. 1, 0 goes to 0, 1. 1, 1 goes to minus 1, 1. And 0, 1 goes to minus 1, 0. Let's illustrate that on this unit square. So the origin stays on itself. So I originally used blue pen, using red now. Then A, the image of A, ended up at 0, 1. So A ended up here. A dash, I'm going to call that. Then B ended up with minus 1, 1. So B there. B dash. Then C ended up with minus 1, 0. So C dash ended up there. So sketching that on this diagram, we can see that it rotated 90 degrees about the origin. So B would end up there. A there. 0 stays where it is. I can see that C dash, when rotating 90 degrees, would end up there. 
so that matrix has done exactly what we wanted. Notice also that any matrix that performs a transformation, this first column here is where the element 1 naught ends up. So 1 naught in the original set of coordinates always gets mapped to this first element here. Here is where 0, 1 gets mapped to. And that works for every single matrix. So here, 1, 0 gets mapped to 0, 1. Yeah, that's correct. And 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, there it is there, gets mapped to minus 1, 0. Yes, 0, 1 gets mapped to minus 1, 0. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.